If you have stopped focusing on the scale and measure progress and also started focusing on strength and lifting weights, you need to listen to this. I want to start with a disclaimer that you don't have to rely solely on the scale for measuring progress. With all my clients, actually, I have the scale as part of how we measure progress, but it's not the only thing. We keep track of how we feel in the gym, how we're sleeping at night, energy levels throughout the day, progress in the gym, how our clothes feel, body measurements, and also progress pictures. So instead of only using the scale to measure our progress, we use all of the things. And what we don't do is focus on high spikes in our weight because that can be due to a million things. So if you're feeling bloated, make sure you're checking what day you are in your cycle, but also tracking your food to see if there are any changes with that. The length of time it will take for you to start seeing changes is dependent on your body and your health history. Every journey is different, every body is different, and no two of my clients have the same exact journey. Don't compare yourself to someone else's journey and just know, as long as you stay the course, you will get to the results.